Hey friends, I'm Julie. I'm with the Duluth Public Arts Commission and I'm gonna show you how um, to start one of your grid panels. All right, so this is the bag you all are going to pick up. And on the front, it's gonna tell you your reference square. You're gonna open up your bag, you're gonna get a brush. You're gonna get, this is um, for your painting palette for mixing colors, you can mix right on top of that. Also, you're gonna get your drop-off bag that you're gonna use to drop off your panel once it's done. You're gonna get your panel, which has your reference number. You're gonna get your reference square, which is your most important part. And this tells you what you're going to paint. And then you, you can look, you'll get participant instructions as well. So you can look on those to see where this fits in. You can also look online um, to see where your square, mine is J8. And I can look it up and see what part of the mural my piece is. I'm gonna put my, my bag aside for now. Um, you're also going to get your paints, you're going to get a cup for water, and you're going to get a pencil to sketch it out. So I'm also I'm going to put this back aside right now too. So the first thing you want to do is um, take a cup, I'm going to fill it up with some water for painting. I also went and grabbed some paper towels that I want to use too, just so when I dry off my brush between colors, um, I can do that. I'm going to open my paints real quick. You should probably have a lot of leftover paint once you're done, so feel free to have fun with it. Use it however you like, it's yours to keep. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at the lines and the shapes on my grid. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna make sure this is the top, this is the top. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's a square, whatever you make the top, we can figure it out. But um, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna look at my lines and this is about the halfway point, so it looks like there is this curvy line that starts about um, a little lower than halfway. So I'm just gonna sketch what I see. I can work on this. Now I divided up many of our squares into what I considered hard, medium, and easy. And I picked this one, I'm calling this one about a medium level. You can see I looked at um, my reference square and I sketched it out onto my canvas. All right, so now that I have it sketched out and I am happy with it, I want to look at my colors and I'm going to try to match my color. Clearly this is a green, but my green looks a little brighter, so I'm going to try to maybe mix in some yellow with this green. My brush is a little hard. I'm actually going to go ahead and stick it in the water. I'm going to go ahead and get some yellow on my palette. And I'm looking at these colors already, these browns, and I know I'm gonna probably wanna mix in maybe even some blues or reds with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get all these colors onto my palette so that I can um, mix them. You know what, I'm in the mood to make some brown first, or that orangey, orangey brown. So the orangey, I'm gonna do some red and some yellow. And I'm gonna bring in a little bit of green. And anytime I mix colors, a great thing that I can do is I can just put a dab on that. Oh, that's a lot brighter than that. So you know what, I might wanna bring in some white too. I brought in some white and I'm just gonna put a dab on my reference square. Oh, that's a lot closer. That looks a lot closer, maybe a little bit more red. But we're not going for perfect. Um, just mix until I am happy with it. Oh, you know what, that looks pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and paint. Okay, so I have my color. Now let's look at this part. This is a deeper brown. I'm going to add in a little bit of black. Right there. All right, go ahead and paint it on my canvas. Um, let's focus on that top green. And then the last one, I'm going to go back with that darker green. So I'm going to do some yellow and some green. So because it needs a lighter tone, I want some white in it. Dot white over it. All right, so now the last thing I'm going to do is make that darker green color. So I'm going to take some black to darken up my green. So I'm going to test it on my little piece here. All right, and here we just about have it. Here is my reference square, here's what I painted. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna let it dry for a day or so. I'm gonna take my drop-off bag. 
I'm going to fill out my information, my name, and my email. And when this is completely dry and I'm totally satisfied with it, I'm going to stick it in the bag and um, I'm going to drop it off. And the cool thing is all your drop-off information is right there. So you want to make sure to get it there before 4.30 on May 3rd. And then we'll have time to put it together. I can't wait to see you guys at the reveal. Thank you so much for participating. Bye, guys.